welcome to the final part of Megan. We are going to give her hair some highlights. So I am starting at my last done merge layer after my skin soften. And to give highlights, four really quick steps. We are going to, one, duplicate the layer. Two, change the blend mode to screen. Now you can see that that's really super bright, but that's because we want these highlights on her hair to be bright. Now we're gonna hide that entire layer with a black mask. So hold down your Alt key and hit that mask button. So that whole bright layer is hidden. Now it's time to bring some of that back. So the mask is black. We are painting with white. Make sure that your color is set to white. Get yourself a soft brush, as soft as you can make it. And I'm probably gonna need it to be just a little bit bigger than that, but I'll change it on the fly afterwards. Uh, the difference this time is that we're going to change the opacity of our brush so that you're not painting with a full white to bring that 100% back. We want to just bring back part of that screened layer that is so bright. So let's start with a opacity of, I'm going to actually go about 40% in here. Uh, 40 to 50% is where you want to start. Again, that brush needs to be fairly soft. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger here. And I'm going to paint just down a little bit on there. And I'm gonna paint here. And I'm just gonna paint some highlights kind of in her hair. And it looks like my brush could maybe be a little bit more. I'm gonna go up to about 50%. There we go. I can see that it's coming in now a little bit better. And make sure that your brush isn't too big. You don't wanna get into the outside area past her hair. If you do, remember, just change your brush back to black and you can fix it. And so there we go. She's got some highlights now. I'll give her a little bit down through here as well to be a little bit brighter. So notice the difference if I shut that layer off before and after. It just brightens her hair up, hey? Before and after. And again, if that's still a little bit too much, you can always play with your opacity here a little bit and be taking it a little bit down if you don't want it to be quite as much before and after to give her some highlights. So that's officially done. Need to make our merge layer. Control Shift Alt E. Name that layer. Hair highlights done. Go ahead and save it out as a PSD file so that I can see all of your layers. And again, you can hand that into the portrait editing hand ins folder that I had uh, shared with you. And that's the end of Megan.